following is a short video about tests performed at Hayes Manufacturing. Sometimes when a customer comes to us, they are wanting to know if the Hayes coupling will perform as well as a coupling product that they are already using. So in the past, we have come up with accelerated test programs so that we can tell within a short amount of time how the product will perform. The following is an example of one such test. The competitor's coupling that we happened to be testing was a rigid hub mounted to a plate. We applied anti-seize to the spline as per the manufacturer's recommendations. In this particular test, we wanted to have a relatively rapid response to misalignment. Our engine is mounted fully adjustable on the test stand. So we raised the front portion of the engine so as to achieve a 235 thousandths angular misalignment when rotated from top to bottom. We tested three of our competitors couplings consecutively. You'll notice that the coupling pops a little bit as it engages due to the misalignment. Then when the engine is tightened down on its rails it pulls it into its final testing position. During testing, we use a strobe to stop the action on the spinning objects. That way we can keep an eye on what's going on with the test. After the three 20-hour tests, we made observations as to what had happened to the couplings. The failure mode seemed to be the same on all three couplings. A crack was developing on the opposite side of the plate to where the hub was mounted. At this point, we felt that the test was long enough and that there was an imminent failure about to happen. So we started to test the Hayes product. As our testing continued, we used the same protocols. We had the same loading for the same durations. As with all the other testing, we recorded data as it was accumulated. Due to the large amount of angular misalignment, there was about four thousandths wear on the driving surfaces of the Hexflex drive plate. We used the same drive hub on all three Hexflex tests. That way we could have some extended time on that particular item. This component showed no signs of wear. Another important thing that we checked was that the hub had not changed its position on the spline shaft. During the course of this test, each coupling saw 2,888,000 bending moment cycles. These tests have given our customer the confidence to proceed with the Hayes product. Currently on this application we have shipped more than 7,400 pieces with zero failures and more than twice that number on other applications that we're now doing for them. Thank you for considering products made by Hayes Manufacturing.